It's been 24 hours since I put this up. You can still see some pink in here. Uh, so it's uh, not ready to paint. But uh, I just had an idea. Uh, I talked about camouflaging areas where pieces were joined together or there's a crack because I broke the piece here. Uh, and uh, I decided to do uh, something different. And uh, I'm going to show you what that is. I've uh, uh, mixed some hydrocal according to the instructions and you want it real thin and I'm going to brush over those areas it's using a paintbrush like this and use the bristles to push it into those cracks work quickly and only make small amounts because it sets up quickly but see so you can thin it out if you get it too thick in an area you can thin it out using the brush I have some water here to help keep the the brush thin but anywhere where I see a spot where there's no uh, uh, rock face I just dip my brush into the hydrocal solution and paint it on. You can put it in real thick in some areas. Keep your brush as clean as you can. But uh, this looks like it's working really well. And uh, so I will go about treating all of the areas like this covering up all those joints filling in all the holes where the pieces didn't fit seamlessly and I'll get back to you in about another 24 hours as you can see it came out rather well uh, I'm still seeing one line here but that's because of the way I don't know I guess it joined but uh, that looks like a good place for some kudzu but uh, all in all I'm very very happy with it and uh, I'm glad I tried this I hope it works for you too that rock face is dry now and uh, I wanted to show you one more thing and that is you can see the place in here where uh, I patched in between the two pieces I laid down is round is rounded out and it doesn't look quite like the rest of the rock so we'll go in and just make this smooth place in here we'll make it more of a cut just like this and following the rock right here and down here and over here I will continue this stri line of striation there I'll put that in and down here too just following what was already there so that the rock features look sharper than they were when I had the uh, hydrocal brushed over top of them to hide the joint. So I will continue uh, to do this on all the areas where I had uh, where I filled in uh, cracks and uh, joints and then we can paint. Uh, the two uh, underlying colors, uh, I always start with the dark and then put the light over it. The colors are going to run together, but that's a good thing. Let it drip, let it run. Okay. Then when you're Finished with that, go to your light one. 
try to get it in spots where you didn't get the other one. You want lots of paint. You want it to run together. Also, do not try to do too big an area at once. I think I can get all this in. And down here, and maybe that. Okay, now I'm with my uh, gray color, and that goes on everything. Uh, because the hydrocal is white, you need a light, nice long bristles to make sure it gets into and on everything. Because believe me, you will see the spots you miss. But you can always go back with the over color and get those little spots. But you see how the... Because we've watered down the uh, uh, major color, the highlight colors that we have underneath show through and that gives us instead of one value of gray rock we get many many values of gray rock and because it's just splashed on it's haphazard as is nature. And it looks like we finished that. Let that take a minute and a half. And there you go. Now does that look like rock or not? So I will finish this one and uh, when it's dry we can put in our road. So I've laid the uh, asphalt going up the switchback road